Hello there, everyone. I know you're probably happy to think that, hey, tax time's over. It's April 22nd. I mean, you know, I've filed my federal return. Maybe you have a state one that's due a little later. Some of the states are, are due after April 15th or 18th this year. Well, you think everything's great? Uh, well, there's 941s to be filed. Are you a business owner? Do you have small business payroll to deal with? I'm going to help you out right now. This is a 2017 payroll and Excel version. You're looking at the bi-weekly version we're going to go over. I'm going to show you how we automatically generate the numbers for a 941 so that you can fill it out and send it off and be done with it and not have to worry about it anymore. So let's go. So this is the beast that you have to deal with. You have to deal with your 941 or in 2017, probably Q1 you're looking at right now because that's due... When? Yeah, that's due probably May 1st. Um, it's usually due about 30 days after the end of the, the quarter that you're talking about. So you have to fill out this information, but let's not worry about the details of your personal company, but let's talk about the numbers. So there are numbers. How many employees worked? What were their wages? And what's the difference between this number and what's a taxable Social Security wage? What's a taxable Medicare wage? Is there this money that's additional Medicare withholding if they make over two hundred grand a year? Once they get over two hundred thousand dollars, there's this. I believe that's still there. I mean, we're on the twenty seventeen form. I think that the Republicans want to get rid of it, and it might be gone eventually when they do tax reform. But it's still there right now. And they're, they're, Congress is known to do that, where they mess around in the middle of the year and change things. It has happened in the past. So. What are your taxes? What are your adjustments? What do I owe? What did you pay? You've got to fill out this thing. If you pay every month, then you're going to have to total up a number here. If you pay semi-weekly, there's a Schedule B to this where you're going to fill out each day that you made the payments. So how do you make this easy and not annoy you and make sure you get it right? Well, here's the solution. So the, the payroll scraps or the payroll Excel files I've got, uh, for all types of different businesses in different states and SAC situations. I'm going to show you one that somebody who pays bi-weekly, so every two weeks, and it's in Ohio, and they have situations where they have non-residents. In this case, these non-residents are J-1 holders, which are not subject to Social Security and Medicare. So no, uh, that, that changes the way this file works. You can really do anything with these files, and I have Dave Chappelle, and Amorosa, because they're both from Ohio. And I have their, with their st marital status. I'm pretty sure Amorosa's married. Let's say she's not. I don't know. We're messing around. You can add a lot of other personal information in here. Keep track. Over the right. Don't worry about it now. There are unemployment rates. There are workers' comp rates. This isn't really to showcase the file as much as it is to show you how to do a 941. So assuming that Dave Chappelle worked 40 hours at 100 bucks an hour, and maybe he got a $1 million bonus from Netflix in March, as he should for having the, the like highest watch specials ever. He's great. Uh, I don't know when Omarosa started for the Trump administration. I mean, she's probably making more than 15 bucks, bucks an hour. So you can do things like pay stubs, and let's talk about the 941. So in this file, what we have on this 941 sheet is a way that you can refresh this and choose the quarter you're in, just active employees, and this thing's going to fill itself out automatically. I mean, look at what we were looking at over here. We we're saying, what are the number of active employees, right? There are two. It's counting up the number of active employees. What are their wages and tips? So what goes on? Uh, you know, this looks like the 941 sheet. What goes on here is these are uh, this is a pivot table that's summing up all the information from this here and in here. There are many, many, many formulas that do all these equations to figure out exactly what taxable wages are for certain people and how much federal tax is calculated and all this nonsense. So that takes a long time. To do and you don't have to do that. I mean, we have artificial intelligence, and luckily we have people who've recorded algorithms of how to do this stuff. And so we formulate it, and this just becomes automatic. What's your 941 going to be for Q2? Boom! Click Q2. These two things are connected. This slicer right here for quarter 
is connected to this pivot table right here and also connected to this pivot table right here. So it's summing up what your monthly payments are. And in Q2, you would pay $4,000 for, you know, here are your wages. Uh, it looks like Dave Chappelle doesn't have any FICA base anymore for Social Security, although he would for Medicare because he's over his $127,000. Why? Because what happened? Because in Q1, he made a million. And so he, you know, this is the max that your Social Security can come out of is $127,200. With, with this system and with this way of altering things, let's take away that million dollars and show you what's more reasonable. You just refresh and everything changes and your all your information changes. So um, this is how you want to do it for one. If you want a copy of this file, there are many different versions of the file for pay period. There's weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly that I have available. And then there's different states and state taxes. We didn't really get into Ohio state tax, but uh, this file has, um, you know, this is your Ohio tax withheld for these periods. It has pivot tables and reports for all of these different uh, unemployment and everything that goes into running a business and filing small business. So if you have under 50 employees, this file will work very well. And if you'd like a copy, I sell them for $50 and then I add different specifications into it an hourly rate. So you can get a copy of this, maybe for your own purposes, if I've got one lying around that fits your needs for 50 bucks. And really save yourself a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of hassle. And learn something about Excel and pivot tables and how to organize your data along the way. Uh, because I've had, I've had clients since over uh, probably seven or eight years now doing using these payroll files in all different situations and you know little things will go wrong sometimes and you'll catch it and you'll fix it but for the most part it is um, I mean the way that, that you're able to harness this data and just click and be done what's Q1? Q1 is this and you know just go populate this PDF by hand and you know everything will work and it's pretty cool so anyway uh, if you're interested, email me, ken at kenstalk.com, and uh, I can give you more information about the file, but this is, this is how to do 941. Uh, you need to know your gross wages, your taxable, what's subject to FICA, uh, or subject to security, what's taxable, also, you know, if you have pre-tax deductions that don't hit federal tax. With non-residents, you have to add a little bit to their uh, potential taxable income when figuring the federal tax. There's some rules in the publication 15 about that. So it can get a little complicated, but this is a basic way and the information that you're going to need to do it and um, how it all works in the pivot table in the Pivot Excel file 2017. So good luck and um, please re reach out to me if you're interested in learning more and getting a copy of the file.